Sorry, Va I was in the chat. Vanna was in the live <laughs> chat saying hi to everyone. So a big, huge shout out to everybody that was in the live chat waiting. Um, my screen said 10, is the 11 people there now? Thank you so much, guys. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much. So um, some people that don't have the premium YouTube service immediately get hit with an advert. So let's just do a big shout out to all the people. I'll just rattle through them really quickly, Vanna. Okay. And you can hold up your last week's canvas if you like and show. I do. So <laughs> I'm going to be... There's that ad. There's the ad coming up on Vanna's... Stop. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. There was the advert coming up on Vanna's phone. Had to get its two bits in. Yeah. So a big shout out to uh, Mary. A big shout out to June, Eugenia, Magdalena. Hi there, darlings. Marina. I'd also love to give a shout out to Bell, Melissa, Maria, Deborah, Bob and Amy, Robbo, Justin and PPP, Nelvia, Gail, Jeanette, Cindy, Jody, Missy, Linda, George Ann. Hi darling the Danielles both of them Kath the Tinas hi there Tinas uh, Mickey Millie uh, Lucky Bean Bella Bean Amber Andrea Anita Lonnie Tracy Coz Anuka Emmy Bean Josh and Judy and all of our OG Beans and of course a big shout out to the wonderful people at TLP um, that uh, are just so wonderful and we use loads of their products. Don't forget TLP and uh, the fluidart.co is where you can order all of the uh, more high-end ingredients and Vanna's going to go and show my one from last week. Now we had a you know I was saying hello and we didn't really talk about Vanna's very much but you could see it was very pretty. If you remember and you were watching the show last week this isn't anything that I poured last week. Um, I looked at it and I just couldn't help but really, really dislike it. Scraped it. So we scraped it <laughs> and I tried again and then I did this background as you can see. I did a couple kind of like a double swoosh swipe. I still didn't like that. So with what colors Vanna had left, I put this through the middle to try and make it pretty. I'm still not happy with it, but it's gonna make a great background for one of the pieces that I do and I make uh, for the festival, Shambhala Music Festival. Uh, that we go to every single year and uh, we create, uh, curate rather, a art gallery there. So there you go, that's last week's canvases. So, Fluid Art for Beginners 101. We are going back to the absolute basics and this is show number 51. Can you believe it, Vanna? Yeah. I know, it's quite crazy. Let me move this down a little bit. There we go. So we're not kind of just our heads there like this. Um, yes, yeah, tippy toes. <laughs> uh, show number 52, which is going to be the year. I know we've been doing this over a year, but show number 52, so the year's worth of show. Should we do something special for 52? Yeah, well, we're, we're <gasps> going to be, be in Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> we're going to be, uh, we're going to uh, visit uh, Vanna's dad, who lives down there in Mexico, because uh, it's his birthday at the beginning of May, and he's all on his own down there, and it's nice to go and see him and uh, make sure he's all right and have a fun time. Celebrate his birthday with him. Celebrate he his birthday with him. He can't make his own birthday cake. No, exactly. So we're going to go down there. Vanna's going to make a cake and uh, we're going to have a good time for his birthday. But we're going to, we've done it twice before, brought shows from Mexico. So we're going to bring you a special show from Mexico next week. Oh, Jan Bean, thank you so much, darling. That was so kind. This is an example of a super sticker, which is, leads me to the thing and leads us to the thing. Please subscribe, people, because subscribing is... Subscribing is important. <laughs> Sorry, Vanna. <but no. laughs> <laughs> subscribing is very, very important. important. Please so you subscribe. Can participate in the live chat. You'll get notifications for our shows and our videos so you won't miss anything. And the live chat is just fun. You want to be in there. You Absolutely. can interact with friends, make new family friends. You can ask questions and get them answered in live real time on the show. And when you subscribe, you can, uh, it's when you when you are um, uh, participating in the live chat, as you've just seen, Heather, thank you, darling, sent us a $20 sticker. Bottom right hand corner of the chat is a little dollar sign. Click on that and it takes you to a secure page of different denominations of stickers and super chats. Some of them you can write little messages in and it's a way of sending us some money and supporting us, supporting the show, helping us uh, plan these shows and buy ingredients and things like that. Uh, and it was also a great way to help us with the postage when we send things out to people, which we do quite a lot. Lamb bean, not Jan bean. Lamb bean? You, you, you called the wrong bean. Did I call the wrong bean? I think so. I'm so sorry, Beans. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so there we go. We've done that. We're right. So we are both doing, Vanna and I are both going to do ring pours today. 
and we're busting it right back down to basics. We are only using our US flow troll and we are using our dollar store paints, okay? So I've already mixed up my paints and the ratio is two to one, okay? But we're gonna get the camera pointing down and I'm gonna man the live chat for a minute and Vanna is gonna mix her paints up live for you so the guys that are painting along at home can mix them up live as we're actually doing it. Help me with the waffles though, I'm not I'll, as I will as try you. and help her with the waffles. I've never mixed paint before, this is my <laughs> first time. It's gonna be live, it's gonna be live. Yeah. Uh, we've also um, made ourselves a base paint. Uh, of some um, um, black from the from the dollar store and some white as well. We're both going to do ring pours. I am going to do one of us is going to do the clean pour and the other is going to do the dirty pour. Now the two differences in these pours is how you pour your paint into the pot before you tip it out. Okay, guys. And when we do that, we're going we'll to explain. Go into greater detail. Thank oh, you. Oh, Maria, thank you so much. Oh, no, Maria, or is it Marla? I don't know. It's disappeared so quick. I'm sorry. Hi there, guys. Thank you so much. That's so very, very kind of you. Um, so, yeah, when we're actually doing the techniques, we're going to actually show you the differences and everything like that. And, and our base paint that you made up with dollar store paint, what's the ratios? Exactly the same. Just two to one. Two to one, two parts, uh, two parts US flow troll to one part of the dollar store paint. Okay. 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 So um, I am also going to show for the um, beginners as well. Um, just after uh, Vanna mixes her paints up, for the beginners that are just slightly a little more um, into it and they may be thinking about buying a pigment or getting a pigment or might already have some pigments. Oh, Lily, thank you so much. Christine. And Christine, thank you the so much, sweetheart. Thank you, oh, everyone. that's so lovely. That's so kind of you. Thank you, guys. I'm going to show you how we can add uh, a pigment into these, uh, not into the dollar store paint. But you're going to mix a pigment live. I'm going to mix a pigment up live so we can use it as we do the colors from the dollar store okay guys so and when we get to that i'm going to show you the ingredients and all of the waffle 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 so here we go what is that we're seven minutes in i think that's pretty good introductions explain explanations of what we're going to do um so let's zip it <laughs> let's get the camera pointing down da, 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 we're da, da. not actually going to zip it we're going to keep waffling. yeah yeah we're not going to zip it at all sorry that's part of the other videos really isn't it yeah i think that's a nice uh that's a nice well lit shot, straight shot. So let's get the... Do I need to something. shake this? You need to shake it. I've already um, strained it, but oh, you, will need you. To you will need to shake, always shake your dollar, uh, always shake the flow trail, and importantly, always shake the dollar store paints. Oh, thank you. I just saw, I, there's a little sticker just gone past. I couldn't see who it was. Thank you. I shall see in the, in the live chat. It's all right, Verna, don't worry. You, oh, get back to the live chat, please. Yeah, well, I don't know how to work your phone. She's on a Samsung and I'm not. But yeah, it's very important, guys, to give the dollar store paints a shake because they can separate a little bit. And, you know, basically everything's always mixed nicely when we shake it up. Put like it on that. all messages. All messages, perfect. Don't want to miss anything. Okay, I'm just going to... Oh, yeah, you can run through your colours. I'll run through mine quickly. Um, wild Eggplant is what I'm using. And then the Tuscan Red, Sky Blue, same as Vanna's using Sky Blue. I'm using the Cobalt Blue. And then for some crashing, fantastic contrast, the Vivid Yellow. So let's just move those... Oops. Out the way a little bit more. I move these to the side so Verna has a nice working space. Thank you. And I'm going to just take a quick little um, yeah. drink of water. All right. So, would you I'm like to use... sit down, Verna? I can get you a chair. No, I'm good. Okay. I'm using these little mini solo cups, and they are conveniently marked on the outside. You may be able to see them better from the inside. There's lines inside. So, the very first line is one ounce, the second line is two ounces. So we're doing one ounce of the flow one ounce of flow troll and a half ounce of paint. So I'm going to fill all these cups to the first line with flow troll. Bingo! Shall I bring the camera in just a little bit closer? Yeah. There we go, okay. my dear. Perfect. And let me just click on it. Make sure it is nice and focused. Excellent. Okay, guys, I am in the live chat. Yeah, he's not Vanna. He, it says Vanna, but he's not Vanna. Yeah, but it's not me. Yeah, it's not Vanna. It's me. It's Sai. I've been hacked. I've been hacked. <laughs> so, and if your flow troll's got goobers in it, you can always take an old bit of pantyhose with an elastic band and cover the mouth and strain as you pour. 
Ours is quite new and free of goobers, so we're not doing that. Oh, what have you done? I don't know. <laughs> I, I did something. One minute, I have to help Sai. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> He's Samsung illiterate. He's an iPhone guy. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so things we, happen. We play for opposite teams. Okay, so hi Gina, hi Tina, hi Nelvia. Brilliant. All the people that we gave shout outs to um, are in the live chat. It's fantastic. This one is sky blue. Oh, and I didn't shake it. I've shook them all already for you, darling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to stop them, uh, right, so when we shook them up, guys, sorry, and I didn't tell Benny this, to stop them spitting when we open the top, shake them up, and, but then tap them like this, and then when you open them, they tend not to spit so violently and nastily. Yeah, you vomited all over me. Yeah, sorry, darling, forgot to say that. I've made the lid dirty. All right. So now halfway between... Hold it up and show. Halfway between... First line where I stopped, and the second line, I'm gonna fill this too. So, hi Heather. Is it, Heather face? says Frosty needs a wig when he's playing Vanna. I'd need a tiara too, a I tiara think. tiara as well, my Heather, second yeah. color is... Hi Tina, hi Sheldon, hi Leslie. Hi guys, oh, thank you all for being here so much. Hi Devra, hi Lily. This is deep turquoise. Oh, look at that fantastic color. I love the palette that Vanna has chosen. We choose different colors for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Serena. Hi, Serena. How are you doing? Oh, fudge. You, you were the main Serena I meant to write on the list of big hellos at the beginning. So I'm very sorry I missed you at the beginning, but I'm going to give you a, we're going to give you a personal hello now. Hi, Serena. Thank you so much for joining us. Karina's there. Hi, Karina. Pumpkin orange. <laughs> Tina says, Vanna, you're going to have paint all over your nails. Yeah, and she just got them done yesterday. It washes off. Honestly, it's acrylic paint. It's so easy. It's friendly. It just comes straight it's off. Hot soapy water. I'm not one of those girls that can't get her nails dirty. Yeah. Well, this is it. It's because of the job we do. It's a very yeah. inherently kind of, you know, get your hands dirty yeah. job. Just because I have nails doesn't mean I don't get dirty. So, sorry, that was, in case I didn't say, that was tropical green, and this is majestic purple. Sheldon says, hi there, Vanna. I think he'd like you to say hello. Hi, Sheldon. <laughs> hi. Uh, is Nel he being rowdy? <laughs> he's rowdy. No, he's just said, hey there, Vanna. Hi, Nelvia. Nelvia says, sorry, will you be mixing a CA today? Not today, Nelvia, I'm sorry. We are, like, literally going right back to the basics for the beginners. No CAs, but... In two shows, we will. In two shows' time, using all of these same dollar store brands, and we'll also throw in a little piggy uh, as well, we are going to be telling you how to make the most affordable way, I feel, to uh, make a, a cell activator that works really well. Now, I know lots of different people have different opinions. Sheldon has a fantastic cell activator. He calls the Jelly Bomb recipe, which is absolutely amazing. Sheldon's one of the moderators in the live chat. If you click on um, his name in the live chat, it'll take you to his channel where you can subscribe and you can also find out about this Jelly Bomb mixture. But yes, in the next couple of weeks, we are going to be making a cell activator that we can use really well with these paints, Nelvia. Uh, oh, Sheldon says smooches. <laughs> right, hi Joyce as well. Hi Joyce, Devra. In case I didn't say hello to you, Devra. Now I'm just going back. Emily, Emmy Bean is here. Hi Emmy. Oh, so nice Leslie. of all of you to join us today. Yeah, I'm just going back to see if there's anyone else so I can say hi in, and say hi for the people that sent the. Oh, it was Debs that sent the last um, sticker. Uh, the, the super chat thing. Mm. Debs, thank you so much for your generosity. Thank you everyone for sending stickers. All right, so these are all a little on the thick side, as you guys can see here. So Kinda what we gloppy. did... So what we're going to do... Bit, yeah. They don't really flow off the stick. No, and we want them to flow a bit. So we're going to put... And we just water. measured this. This is straight water, isn't it, Vanna? Yes, straight water. And we're using... I'm sorry, I know you all bake. About a half a teaspoon, so... Most of us can eyeball about a half a teaspoon. And we, I made it like, it's like three tiny little squirts. One, two, three, perfect. One, two, three, yeah. That's exactly what I did to mine, guys. Oh, Janet Lambert, yes, sorry, she did, I did get it wrong. Sorry, I'm not Jan Bean, says Janet Lambert. 
it's hard to keep all the beans straight when we're reading I'm messages so flying sorry, by. Lamb I'm bean. so sorry. Honestly, Mama Bear. I also call her Mama Bear because she's um, a Mama Bear. A, a Mama Bear, and and she has looked out for me in this acrylic pouring world, as you all have, and supported us. We love you all, uh, and we love you very much, Mama Bear. Um, ever so much, we love you, Mama Bear. I'm so sorry for getting things wrong. Uh, Luciana's here, Luciana. Luciana is Bella Bean, and you got a shout out at the beginning, Luciana. Hi there, darling. Suzanne, hi Suzanne, she's there. Hi Suzanne, Christine. And I'm just still going back through, seeing if there's anyone I haven't said hello to. One of my favorite things to do after the show is to make coffee, or a cocktail, let's be honest. Yes. And I sit there and read back through all the messages during the show because I'm not just sitting manning the live chat anymore now that I've joined the show. I miss a lot of the comments. And yeah, exactly. I, I like to keep up on what you guys are chatting about. What are the hot topics this week? The hot topics? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on in everyone's lives? Bless. Emily yeah. says, uh, Emmy, Emmy Bean says, I'm so happy I made it. I love the color choices. Um, and then, uh, oh yes, here you go. Heather, Heather Gordon, she says, uh, Rowdy's Jelly Bean Bomb rocks. A definite game changer for anyone having trouble getting those magnificent cells. Do you use distilled water, says Judy. Hi there, Judy, darling. No, this is just straight water from our tap. But it's been sitting in that bottle for so long, it is now distilled water. Pretty much, yes. I guess so, yes. Yeah. And we're very fortunate living up here on the mountain. Our right. rainwater, our um, Our water, water is just melted snow. Melted snow, snow. it's, it's fantastic. Got nothing, no we're chloride, so no... Um, but no. Deborah does say, Judy, distilled water is recommended. There we go, exactly. And then Sheldon's last comment is, coffee cocktail, maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Espresso martinis are one of my favorites, or a coffee with a really generous helping of salted caramel coffee liqueur. Yeah, yeah, that sounds absolutely so, fantastic. So, do you want to check my consistencies? Well, and did we show the guys the consistencies? I, I have been, yeah. yeah, there we go. Look, so it now it just runs off a little nicer. I feel like a couple of them are maybe thicker than others. Like oh yeah, that right. Still yes. A bit thick. So something I did notice, guys, and this may differ with the different brands of dollar I feel store that paint that's available. Got a thicker base. The white, the um, sky blue here has got a bit of a thicker base, and Vanna picked up on it, which is absolutely perfect. So I just did another little squirt, squirt in there. Just an extra oh, yeah, little one. That feels more like the other exactly. Now. now, yeah, mix that up. I did notice that when I mixed mine. Mm. Nothing gets past me. You see, this is brilliant. And look at that now, it's just running off absolutely beautifully. Yep. Excellent, excellent. One maybe needs, where's that? Just do a half the of orange. it. Orange? No, it's got a little extra go. Yeah, sometimes some of them do seem a little bit thicker. And uh, when they're not brand new and full, they can kind of just dry out a little bit. Yeah, it makes the, it thicken up, yeah. In the, uh, in the tube. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent, brilliant. Let's get our paint on. Okay, let's get the paint on. So what I'm just going to do for you now, guys, is if we want to add, say, a piggy to this, let me just get in there, Vanna. Switch. Switch round, bing, bing. Uh, I'll show you how we're going to mix up a piggy. So we can use it with these paints. Now, because they're just a pigment, okay, what we actually need to do is disperse it in something first. Now, people, I've seen people have comments that say, if you use US Floetrol to disperse your piggy, it will dull the piggies. I'm here just to say, sorry, I don't agree with that. <laughs> because I can show you a piece, and I'll just get it for you one second. It's the piece that's hanging up in the shot. Uh, the beginning shot up in the uh, top uh, top left hand corner. I can show you that this piece right here was made with piggies and I didn't use any varnish in the pouring medium at all. All I did was disperse it in US Floetrol and then I added some of the Bare 8300, which is a slightly more expensive um, uh, ingredient that some of the uh, more high end ingredient basically. But um, as you can see, it did not dull the piggies at all whatsoever. They still look fantastic. And this has got a coat of resin on it. It's one of the double-sided ones. But yes, so, sorry guys. For me, it doesn't dilute my piggy at all. So I've just put a little bit, you know, we don't want, we're not gonna make a lot of this little piggy. Um, so I've put uh, just about maybe oh, a couple of mil of the US Floetrol in the bottom. 
And now we're just going to gently open this piggy away from our face. Oh, and this piggy is, of course, you guys can guess at home. Bingo, of course, it's Twinkle. I looked at all the piggies and I'm like, oh, sorry guys. That's yeah, so right, leave the window open, darling. Okay. If you guys can hear that saw, just let me know and I'll close yeah, the window. Yeah, there's someone, uh, someone's doing some home renos behind us and just using a saw out on their deck. It's not too bad. But if you hear it in the background, that's what it is. And I'm sorry about it. So we're not mixing up a lot here, guys. So I'm only going to get, there you go, that much. Okay, just a little bit on the end of the spoon. Mm, about a teaspoon? No, half a teaspoon. No, that's more than half a teaspoon. Okay, let's that's put a teaspoon. Let's put a teaspoon okay. in. Okay, guys, and we're just going to stir this up nicely in the flow trial, just gently away from our faces as well, because pigments are uh, something we do not want to inhale into our lungs. So we're just going to mix this up, da 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 as you can see, here we go. And it's already, see if I can get the light on it so you can see it, do its little magic. Because Twinkle is an interference pigment and it shines blue one way, adds a little blue shimmer. And on the other way, it adds a violet shimmer. So there you go, let's see if I can get the camera, oh, dripped it a bit. See if I can get the camera to pick it up with all the lights. But anyway, so that's our little bit of pigment in a little bit of US flow troll. And I've just got my Bear 8300 here. Uh, and for the beginners, if you'd like to know what Bear 8300 looks like, this is the tin. It is an untinted house paint. So straight off the shelf like this, it's just the base that they make the paint with. It doesn't have any pigments or any colorant in it at all. And this is what we want because we're adding the pigment and the colorant with the Twinkle here in the US flow troll. Okay, so you can also use, I've used, I'm in um, Canada and there's a local paint store, Cloverdale. This is called Super 2 Semi Gloss. Again, it's a it's an unpigmented base house paint without any color in it. This it's is like the, clear pudding. It's like clear pudding. This is the stuff they take off the shelf and then they add the different colors to it to make the color you want. So this also works really well. Okay, so there's your couple of options here. But as long as it is a gloss, high gloss, and it is untinted, it should work really well for you. Now, the easiest way for me to get this pudding out is with a syringe, and I'm gonna get 10 mil, and I'm just gonna put 10 mil of the pudding in the little bit of flow trial here. Now, the thing here, what we want here is consistency, guys, okay? It doesn't matter that these things, uh, that, you know, this is just regular paint and flow troll, where this is flow troll pigment and then the untinted house paint. It doesn't matter that they're different things. What does matter is that the consistency is almost the same, okay? So, this is a little bit thick. See, so it's not really... Well, it actually, now I do that, <laughs> it absolutely did pour really nicely. So what I'm going to do is just add another little drop of the flow troll. There we go. And I'm going to add another couple of millilitres of the bear. Just we've made just about an ounce of the paint, okay guys? So this is how you can make, you can use pigments in with your dollar stores. So, you know, for those that are learning in the beginnings that have just, you know, gone to their art store and bought some pigment or just decided to buy some online, this is one of the best ways I've found to use it in with your other budget-friendly dollar store paints. So let's just look at the consistency there. Any questions, Vanna? No. Brilliant. Now let's look at the consistency here. Just grab my cobalt blue. Actually, let's grab the light blue. You're going to probably see a better, better example. So there you go. You see the light blue just drizzles really nicely. And now let's look at the pigment that we just mis mixed up. Bingo. Oh, drizzles really nicely. That's our little kitty cat who's just come in. He's so happy that it's spring because he gets to go outside and sniff about and have all of the fun. He hates snow. Oh, uh, uh, uh. He no. hates snow, but he loves being part he of the show. He wanted to be on the camera. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Someone nearly jumped right up in all of the paint. Good boy, Puss. Brilliant. Okay, guys, so that's how we can mix up and use a pigment in with 
So actually, let me just have another look at that. I make sure that they're all yep. very close to the yep. same consistency. Yeah, that's uh, very nice and close to yes. the same consistency. Perfect, bingo! So there you go, that's how you can mix up a pigment. And you start, start to use the higher end paints and pigments in with your more budget-friendly, affordable paints. We are both going to be using solo cups to pour out of. Uh, um, uh, and Vanna, would you like to do the dirty pour or the straight pour? Well... Which one of us is more dirty? <laughs> <laughs> That's a question for a later show, a later date, possibly past nine o'clock in the evening, I believe. <laughs> okay, I will do, uh, I want to do the clean pour. I think you're the dirty one today. Okay, just So that. the difference between a clean pour and a dirty pour is how we put no mew. Stay there. <laughs> is how we pour the paint from these little pots into this pot. So on a clean pour, I'm gonna pour them super carefully so they don't mix. I'm actually gonna kind of drip them down the edge of the cup. You hold the cup at 45 yeah. and pour them in nicely yeah. like that. Yeah, so they don't get mixed as they pour in. On a dirty pour, you literally just like... <laughs> <laughs> Tip them in from a great yeah, height. Yeah, you just glop them in and they mix a little bit together in the cup while you're pouring them all together. So that's the difference between a clean pour and a dirty pour. And if I've not explained that correctly or you need more information, just ask and we'll try and get your questions answered for you. But let's let's show you now. So we've got to remember first one in, last one out. So we want, I'm gonna start in, I'm gonna go in this order. Fantastic. Okay. I'm just gonna grab your hair, my darling, and pull it back for you like that. Cause. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So she's pouring them nice and carefully on the side. Yep. My fingers are in the way, I'm sorry guys. There you go, you can see. You should get, try and get some clear cups. Nelvia says that still looks a little thick. Oh, Nelvia. Oh, well, we will find it's out then, It's too Nelvia. late now. It's too late now. <laughs> Nan. Hi, Nan. Oh, she says Bear 8300 is still not allowed in Arizona. Oh, that's a shame. You said, you also, I said that uh, American Photo doesn't dull your colours. What's the difference? Uh, what difference is Aussie? I've tried the Aussie as well uh, in similar things like this, replaced the US Photo with Aussie Photo. No, it does not dull your colours either. No, nope, not in my experience, it doesn't. I'm sure some other people um, might have uh, not had. It could depend on the paint, exactly. like the colours that you're using. Hi, too. Eugene. Eugene Dufour is here. Where we're, we're in Canada? Are you? We are in British Columbia, Eugene. Hi, Nana. Nana, Nana. Nana says, still a beginner after two years. Oh, bless your heart now. But then again, we will help you. Guys, if you don't know, uh, we have a Facebook group called The Acrylic Crazy Train. So search us out on Facebook, The Acrylic Crazy maybe Train. One of the admins could maybe throw up a link. That would be fantastic if an admin could. I don't, I'm using Vanna's phone, so I don't know how to get the link and throw it up there. But please join us on The Acrylic Crazy Train and we'll be able to help you achieve, achieve those results you'd like. So Nan, especially if you're not part of the group, please come and join us and everybody else. Please feel free, personally invite from us both, to come and join us in the group, the Acrylic it's Crazy a, Train. It's a private group, so when you post group, in the no. group, it's not going to show up on your public news feed, okay? No, and it's also a safe space, so it is truly for beginners to post their work without fear of, you know... Negative not, comments are negative not tolerated. Comments, yes, are not commented, at, are not tolerated, not tolerated at all, and uh, we are a very helpful, supportive and nurturing group. We're all about mental health in yes. the Acrylic Crazy Train. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, Heather says, bless her, after 18 months, I still feel like a deer in the headlights. Me, Me too! too. <laughs> <laughs> so here's all my colours in the cup, poured neatly together. You can see them all layered there. They didn't really mix together. Do you want to now pour yours into your cup, or should I just go for it now? No, let's go for it right now, but let me just quickly say hi to Kim. Nelvia says, no, she was referring to the pigment paint. The other colours look thinner. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. Do it. Hi, Tina. So, yeah, maybe. Let's have another look. I'm just going to put these over here. Oh, Nelvia, you are right. You 
eagle eyes. Nothing gets past Nelvia. Nelvia eagle eyes, absolutely. Let's just show you guys. It does drizzle, but it is just a little bit, a little bit thicker than the others. So I'm just gonna put, again, just a little few drops of water in there, not too much, because we just wanna help the movement. We don't want to really make it too thin. Thank you, Nelvia. Thank you, darling. Debs. There we go, beautiful. Perfect. Debs has a question. Hi there, Debs, what's your question? Can you use the Bayer 8300 in all paints to make them more glossy? So if we wanted to make these not dull, could we mix some 8300 into them with the Floetrol to give a machine? Oh, you would have to use quite a lot for it to have that effect. But yes, the other thing I would suggest to you, rather than put the 8300 in, is try just some straight Joe Sonia gloss. Or after, um, yeah, put a little bit of a, a, a varnish. The thing, that are miss the thing that's missing from matte paints, which are these paints, which are matte, flat finish, and then the gloss paints is basically varnish. So if you want these to be a bit shinier, yes, put some varnish in, I would suggest over 8300. The Joe Sonia would work better because it's thinner yeah. and you'd need less of it. Exactly, exactly. That would be my thing. So. We are doing the uh, ring pours. Now, Vanna has got a much steadier hand than I do. And what we're gonna do is experiment at pouring at different heights, okay, guys, to see the effects that we get. So here you go, Vanna, my dear. I'm painting over my canvas. Paint, painting over an old canvas. So, because we're just a little bit unsure. So what I have seen some people do um, is put some base paint down first anyway, you know, just so it's not going on a dry canvas or a wet canvas. And especially uh, recently I saw Magdalena do it. Hi Mags, darling. She did it with a flip, flip cup mm -hmm. and it just really helped. Helped it move. Obviously it did, of course. So I would put a little bit of that down first, Vanna, and just cover it all nicely. Okay. Not too much, it's a base, not a pillow, but yeah. you know. This but we is wanna, gonna... I'm gonna cover the canvas with it. Well, yeah, but I would do a little circle like this and then tip it around everywhere, okay. you know. We just want a thin base on it so it's not on a dry canvas. We can always put more. Well, I don't want to make a huge mess. Do you think that's probably a little bit more? Well, it's up to you. Go for it. I mixed six ounces, so that's like way more than enough now. Way more. Okay. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. There we go. Right, okay. <clears throat> so, Vanny, if you want to... Then I tip it around? Yeah, tip it around to those edges. I think it's the perfect amount. We will see. I think it's perfect. It's exactly the amount it's meant to be. Always. Exactly, yes. The and the part that goes on the table was meant to go on the table. Mm. Exactly. So clearly, we wanted to clean some paint. Now here you go, Kim says. Hi, Kim. Kim DeWitt. I've been finding that Minwax polyurethane seems we, to work just as well as Joe for We did use me. that in the beginning. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely that will did. add, uh, that will make your uh, matte paints more shiny. Just so, uh, yes, I just saw the question from Debs there. Okay, brilliant. So I'm like, uh, Call me Nanas, she says. Oh, Nan, Nanas, it's my nickname. Nanas, well, if you join the Acrylic Crazy Train, we can get, give you a bean name, a jelly bean Nanner name. Nanner Bean. Nanner Bean. Nanas, hi Nanas, that's so I like darling. that nickname. That's lovely, Nanas. Hi, you guys, she says, she's smiling here. Deborah, don't forget to hit the like button, kids. Oh, yes, Deborah, thank you so much. Really important to hit the, th the thumbs up or the like button because the more thumbs up we get, the more YouTube is likely to uh, suggest our show to people that haven't seen it. So, how do I have Liquitex varnish? Anyone use that? I haven't, Christine, I'm sorry, but maybe someone in the live chat. Serena says, you're doing great. I would have knocked the poor cup over already, says Serena. <laughs> yeah, that's because I'm staying out the way. It would have happened if I had done it too. Nah. Bless your heart. I really like this part. Yes, it's very zen, kind of just spreading it out, isn't it? Reminds me of a cake. Yeah, we did, we did use, you know, this is kind of like about a pillow amount, Vanna. Yeah, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Of course, the more base that we put down when we put all our colours on, because there's only about seven ounces, seven and a half ounces of colours here, uh, the more base we've got there is going to help it all move more. And, you know, yeah, we waste paint. We will. But we're not only we're only using the budget um, friendly dollar store paint, and then the US Floetrol, which is really quite affordable. Okay, so 
since you've just declared that I have the steadier hand, I'm doing high up. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> right now, hang on. Let's just see, because I think from straight up and above might not be the best. Maybe from the side like that would be better. There we go. So you're going to pour from high up, Vanna, yeah? Well, yeah, how high? I don't want to splash. Is it going to splash? No, it shouldn't splash. But, well, I would pour from about up here, about eight inches or so, so you can see the difference. <laughs> I have a joke about that. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> eight inches, yeah, 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 that high. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go for it, Vanna. And we're doing ring pours, so you're going to try and just... Yeah, keep a steady hand so we get those lovely... That's it, look at you go. Get those beautiful, beautiful rings to it there. And I'm pouring quite slowly. And Vanna's pouring quite slowly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour closer to it and I'm going to pour faster. Let's just come in a bit closer for you guys now. Here you go, let's just click on it. So you saw how high Vanna was pouring from. I'm going to bring you right in close now so you can see. And click on it to make sure it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. I love the, the uh, teal that's coming through. And then the sky blue at the end. Lovely. Now we were also going to experiment with putting a, a drop of silicone in one set of colours and not in the other. Uh, I did used to have some from all those years ago. I cannot find it anywhere now for the life of me. Fantastic. I must have using cell activators. Yeah, got rid of the silicone. And because we resin everything, and silicone is the anti-resin. Yeah. Okay, you wanna stop and quit. Get your finger on that. There you go. Oh, beautiful. Now, what we can Look do, at guys. Look how thin those rings are. Yeah, let's get right in close. Here we go. And let's see if that makes a difference to the light, if I get the light ring on it. There we go. Hopefully, it's looking. You can really see. It's come out very prettily indeed there, Vanna. So, so let's see if it stays pretty. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> now, I can see there's quite a few little uh, bubbles in there. Do you want to give it a little quick torch? Yeah, I love work. I like there the torch. It doesn't like me, though. There you go. You're just going to turn it up really quickly. That's it. Now, we've got more than enough paint on there. That's going to come off really nicely. So, hang on. Oh, let me just da, 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 move it around again. In go. So, now... Testing your promotion sickness. Are you testing your promotion <laughs> sickness, yeah. Um, but just getting a nice wide-angle shot so you can see Vanna. Oh, you, your nails, Vanna, your nails. Oh, nail brushes, that's what they're for. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there you go. So, time to start tilting. So you're gonna get it all moving or are you gonna go straight for the tilt? Getting it moving nicely. Beautiful. Okay. And we're going for this corner. Okay, cool, excellent. I would let a bit more paint come off than that. All right. Well, it's up to you, darling. You do you, you do you. Okay, okay, okay. You do you. Get it right to the tip. Oh, just the tip. There oh. you go. Bring that back now. Ooh. Oh, and you're going to go that way, are you? Ooh, oh, interesting. Just, you know, I, I don't... I suck teeth when I do this part. It's okay. My hair's not that long. Uh, well, I mean, it's oh long. my word. The it's lines long, you've got there are fabulous. And Vanna's pouring it back into the middle, guys, before we do the next corner. You don't have to pour it back into the middle, but if you don't, you can end up getting slightly more kind of like warped lines. There we go. Nicely keeping the shot in shot, Vanna. Really well done. Love it. I've been watching a pro for about a year. <laughs> oh, that yellow and the teal, uh, the orange and the teal. Oh, Vanna, good choices, Van. Thanks. Nice. And you see, it's moving really nicely. So I think we've got a really great consistency here. And I've said it before when we've been doing the shows with the, 
um, dollar store paints. Because we're mixing it with so much Flow Troll. Flow Troll is a latex paint extender used in the building industry. We use it because we're in the There's building industry. There's a lot of paint on here. If that's going to be fine, and this is what I'm saying about the amount of flow troll. Because there's so much flow, uh, flow troll in this mix, two to one of paint, this is going to dry absolutely beautiful without a crack or anything in sight whatsoever. It happens every time. It's just so beautiful. And I really do love working with the, uh, with the more affordable paints and the flow troll because you get some great effects. And just like this one, let me move the camera down so you can get a good look at what Vanna's just made. Look at that. Mm. Do you like it, Vanna? Uh, uh, she says. It's not a swipe. It's not a swipe, no, no, no. But again, you know, this is acrylic pouring for beginners 101. So we are going right back to the beginning. We are going to be doing swipes when we use the cell activator in a few so weeks. So do we feel, because I poured so slowly is the reason why I got such thin rings? Do you think if I would have poured faster from the cup, I would have got thicker rings? Quite possibly. Also, if the mixture is a little thicker, or the thinner the mixture, the thinner the rings that you get from a pour like this, is a general rule of thumb. But please let me know in the live chat if I'm wrong. I'm just going to look at the live chat. It's quite pretty. I love the colours. Yes. Lovely. I'm not mad about it. I think it's very pretty indeed. I'm not mad about so it. So do you want to touch the corners and get some paint on those little edgy bits? I do. Let's just get the camera pulling it up a bit. Bingo, there we go. I think it's very pretty indeed, Vanna. Thank you. I think it's lovely. Pretty colours make pretty art. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Bloop. Little bloops just on the corners, just to cover them. Pick up a bit of that. Bingo. Fabulous. Here you go, darling. Here's the little rag that you want to wipe the underneath edges. I just wanted to turn that the right color. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. There you go, my dear. Thank you. So it's vitally important to wipe those edges because uh, the paint, uh, if you don't then have a perfectly level um, place to lay this so it dries nice and flat, uh, the it drips on the edge can drag, continue to drag the paint off the edge. Oh look, you've got a little unhappy smiley face on the edge here. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. That's quite cute. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Okay, do you got a spot for me in the, yep, in the room? Yep, it's all set up there. It's one of the, uh, yep, you'll see. Vanna out. Vanna out. Okay, look, you see guys, and there you go. We didn't waste a lot of paint. I'd say there's maybe, maybe a couple of ounces of paint there in little drips. Oh, I'm not too sure. You're just gonna have to look at aren't my Ugly mug for a second, just while we clear this up. And then we're gonna do the dirty ring pour, where I'm just gonna throw these paints in willy-nilly without a care in the world. And I'm gonna throw in uh, the uh, twinkle as well, so we can see how that looks like. And that's gonna make for an interesting uh, last week's canvas and dried results next week. Here you go, my dear. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me, my friends, for just Waffle, waffle, chitty chat, chitty chat, chitty chat, chat. So they're here for the waffles. They're here for the waffles and the chitty chat the and the chitty chats. Are nice, but the waffles are delicious. The waffles are delicious. <laughs> what was it? Did Sheldon say I waffle and banner? Banner pancakes. Banner pancakes. <laughs> right. Okay then, friends. So, oh, let's get that camera pointing back down. Dun, 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 dun. Here we are, and there is my solo cup. Here are my paints. Bingo, 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 bingo. Now, as, um, as Vanna said, usually the rule is, you know, last in, first out, or first in, last out. So I'm gonna go this way because I really like this kind of color thing, but I'm gonna throw the twinkle right in the middle here. Now I'm gonna throw it in the between there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. In goes the wild eggplant at first. Bingo, bingo, you see it going in there? See it, and I just threw it in, right in the middle. I didn't tip it nicely on the side. Just threw that mofo right in there. So, that's the wild eggplant. Bang, in there. 
Now we're going to get the, no, I am going to, no, yep, I'm going to put in the, the twilight, the interference pigments, I'm just going to throw that in there, and you see I didn't do it nicely like Manny did, that you see it's just thrown in. This is what constitutes the dirty pour, because you just throw the colours in there, and as they get in there, they do get a bit of a mix in and a smatter in, and it does produce a very different effect because all of the colours haven't been very gently put in there. So they're kind of sitting next to each other nicely in there. This way, they've been smashed together. <laughs> and some people, even with the, with the dirty paw, will put a toothpick or something in there or just a stirring stick and just go once, twice to move it around a little bit. But I'm not gonna do that because I was really just throwing this stuff in there Willy nilly. Oh, we had a great kind of Union Jack colour going on there now, but now we've got the yellow. Fantastic. So there you go. That's a dirty pour. And I think you can see the difference, right? <laughs> because Vanna's oh, was. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Splattered in there. So let me get my little canvas. Here we go. Now I'm wondering if. Do you know what? Because I was humming and hiring whether we were going to use a larger 13 inch. Right? Now I'm pretty sure you did. So I'm going to flip it out and use one of those. And let's see how we do. Vanny used white uh, base. I'm going to use the black. I'm going to pour all of the six ounces on it. Bingo. Because this is a 13 inch round. So it's quite a bit of space. That might have been a bit too much base, but again, it's Floetrol and dollar store paint. So, you know, it's not the most expensive of the materials. Suzanne Meyer had a question. Hi there, Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. I'm just scrolling back because we, we were both on the camera and we missed it. She's talking about house, house paint for pillow paints. She's used a few different brands. Uh -huh. uh, what is our favorite? For pillow paints, when we're doing blooms and swipes. Color to go. Color to go Sherwin by Sherwin-Williams. Do you want to grab one there, yep. Vanna? That is the ultimate pillow. The ultimate pillow we have found here in North America. And I know about this thanks to the lovely Lisa Marvin. If you don't know who Lisa Marvin is, please check out Lisa Marvin. She's Very fantastic. Eh? And so much fun. So much fun. Uh, yes, she used this and I got this from her. Uh, Colour to Go from Sherwin Williams makes fantastic pillow mm -hmm. paint. Also, also Glidden. Glidden Essentials in uh, white satin I've used. Other people use uh, the, uh, uh, sorry, no, other people have used the essentials. I use the premium just because I find it has less bubbles in it up here uh, above the north of the 49th parallel. I find it has less bubbles. I tried the essentials and I found it had quite a few. So we, uh, I switched to the premium and uh, far less bubbles I found, but please let me know. But those are the two favored pillow paints. But again, in a few weeks time, we are going to be showing you, T what Vanna, do you want to go upstairs and just grab, um, you know, the two pictures uh, either side of the chimney breast closet. Yeah. If you want to grab the one on the right. Okay, the dark one. The dark one. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys an example of how and what we're going to make a cell activator and using these dollar store paints with some of the deco art, because I can get deco art at the dollar store too. We're going to show you how to make a cell activator and how to have some amazing fun. Vanna is going to be here in just it one second. Paint. Okay, so this, my friends, bingo. Let's get in nice and close for you. This is not Australian flow troll. This is not any pigments or anything like that. This is all deco art and dollar store paints. And uh, to make the cell activator that works so beautifully like this, we're going to tell you, you just need to get one ingredient and we're gonna tell you that at the end of the next show. So you can go out and just, uh, we need two ingredients actually. Uh, and then we're gonna teach you how you can make a cell activator using dollar store paints and the deco art paints from the dollar store. And you can make something like this. So stick around for two weeks. Thank you, Vanna. Of course, that's what I do. Yeah, that's what you do. So brilliant, let's go in close. 
round. There is the six ounces on the 13 inch round. So I'm going to pour, pour quickly and low. Okay, guys, so let's get the camera. Da, da, da. There we go. That should be a bit better. So I'm going to pour low and quickly. Oh, Jody. That's beautiful. Would you like my address? <laughs> That's not quickly. I love, I love, <laughs> I'm trying to do it as quickly as I can, Van, and my hand isn't as steady as yours. Yeah. Um, Jody says, oh, that's lovely. Can I? <laughs> you want my address? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jody. That's a lovely, lovely that compliment. That one hangs proudly in our home. It's ours. Yes, I didn't want to give that one up. People would have to pay me a lot to give that up. It's one Those, of the... And there's a white one that okay. matches it on the other side of the wall. And the two of them sit so beautifully together. And I think they were probably one of the first couple paintings that Cy did a long time ago that he actually really, really loved. That aha moment. That he got the results he wanted. Yes, his aha, his first aha moments. Okay, guys, so... I'm gonna get the camera pointing in close in a minute and you can see the difference between pouring ready quickly and closely as opposed to far away and slowly. Okay, so let me just get in. Bingo, there you go. I hope you can see that nice and clearly. Let me just move it around a little bit. If I move around to this way, you can see how we've got this lovely kind of pattern here with the purple coming up the middle and these lovely lines of red coming all the way around there. I believe it actually has a name, but offhand, I'm sorry, I cannot think of it. So I'm just moving the camera out and I'll pick it up and now I can give you a nice close up. But yeah, I think it came out rather prettily. So we've got some fantastic movement here. Now, I'm a bit inclined maybe just to spin this, actually, rather than tilt it. What do you reckon, Vanna? Mm. I don't want to warp it too much. I then think it's you too pretty. Throw it on the spinner. Yeah, now you see. Let me get it for you. Well, again, but then does this, does me getting does a spinner out negate our experiment? Negate our kind of experiment, no. I guess, or maybe the fact that this is for beginners, because not all beginners have got a spinner. What do you but, guys think? Say in the live chat, tilt or spin? Tilt or spin, tilt or spin. We'll Come on, guys. We got a spin, we got a spin. Two spins right off the bat. Yeah, I'm figuring spin. I'm getting, I'm, uh, the painting gods are telling me to spin this puppy. Listen to the painting gods. Listen to the painting gods. Oh, oh wow, there you go. No, the spinner's on the stairs, my darling. Oh. See if I can get the light in there. Oh, jeez. So we can see, I was trying to get the, show the inside of the cup and all the pretty colors. Yeah, it's always nice. Okie dokie. So, lifting. Have to move the camera now. Yeah, we do. Da, 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 da. Off of it. Right, sorry guys. Unplanned, unplanned. Oh, the crash. Well, it's a good thing I drank mostly all of that. Oh, that was good. Oh, was it a can of pop? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Just a little bit. Anyway, so brilliant. Here we go with our handy spinner and our fantastic pour mat from Fluid Art Co. You can see these rings on it. It's perfect for making sure your canvases are dead bang center in the middle. Let's get the camera down a closer bit. Let's just click on that. Okay, guys, so let's give this puppy a spin. Now, let's just see. Yeah, yeah, she's, yeah, there's a lot of paint there, so let's give it a gentle spin. Here we go. We do too, Tina. The silicone mats from Fluid Art Company are the best. Well, I'm so glad I spun that. <laughs> give it a little torch. I know, we didn't give it a torch yet either, so let's give it a torch. It's never too late. And then maybe we'll get some more little, some more of the air bubbles that pop. We'll drag up paint with them. Wow, wow, holy schmoly. Oh, and we got most of the paint off beautifully in one go. Holy. So, oh, there you go, my friends. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, look, we've got hardly any movement. I'm totally happy to leave this exactly as it is. I want to take a slice out of it and eat it. Look at that, guys. Oh, wow. So there you go. There's the difference between 
pouring quickly and at a low uh, distance as opposed, uh, as opposed to pouring slowly at a greater distance. Mm -hmm. Vanna got these most beautiful rings and it was, it was the most beautiful, perfect ring pour, mm. I, I would say. Um, with this one here, we've got these lovely lines here. Now, I've seen people, I've seen some videos. I don't get a chance to watch as many as I would like to, but I've seen some videos where people get these lovely, I want to call them almost tendrils or something like that, here and here. Uh, and I'm very sure this technique of pouring has got a name. It's not just a straight ring pour, but whatever it is actually called, if you can know, tell us in the live chat, that would be great. But you can see the difference in using exactly the same paints, exactly the same consistencies, but just dirty from pour. a dirty pour as opposed to a clean pour, and the clean pour poured high and slow, and the dirty pour low and fast. And there we go. I'm really, I'm chuffed it over the moon with this piece. I really love that. I think it's great. Hopefully, you know, you're getting a good, a good, good, good piece. Fingerlings, that's what they're called. Yes, yes. There you go. Now, if we had had the paint just a little bit thicker, I feel that these fingerlings may have come out a little bit thicker too. But again, it's that kind of happy medium you want over of having the paint fluid enough that it travels over the edges of your canvas and covers it nicely, uh, but then obviously being thick enough so it still retains its color and some shape and some definition. I'm just gonna give this another little quick torch, but there we go. And here we go for Vanna's, here we go. Step it out a bit so we can da, 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 on da, da. There you go. You see, so I guess because you tipped and because I span, yeah. It wasn't exactly a, a that fairer, uh, uh, that fairer comp uh, um, comparison. But what we can see and what we can compare is the thickness of the lines. You see here, guys? They're quite thin, but they're very nice. They're still holding their definition. Yeah, colors are very pretty. And, and we've got some fantastic contrast with the colors. So next week, what we're going to do is experiment <gasps> with Thicker colours. Can we do flip cups? Um, well, this or is what I mean. Do this again? I'm, I'm figuring what we're going to do next week is uh, we're going to do this again with slightly thicker colours, or then we're going to do flip cups because we love a flip cup and we haven't, haven't done a flip, done cup, a flip cup, cup for ages. So right, darling, watch out because your picture is still dripping a bit, babe. I know that's why I didn't hold it over yours. Yeah. There you go, my darling. Just get these edges for you. It's got the thickness. It does have the thickness. Whoop, whoop. I don't want to drag it through it. <gasps> Thank you. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let me go. Yeah, go and put that back on the drying rack. So, wow. Yeah, I am, I am really happy with this, how this came out. And let's just tilt it a bit. You can see there's hardly any movement. And because there's so much flow troll in this mixture, in our pouring medium, it's just gonna dry absolutely beautifully. And I can't wait till next week, but next week we're going to be in Mexico. Uh, so the dried results for these are gonna to have to wait two weeks now. Oh, Vanna, no, I don't yeah, wanna say that. I win, there's no you comp- You win this week. No, no, you see, you say you win. I know you're just joking, darling, but there's no winning or losing. This is not a competition. There is no who does stuff better I don't dig that kind of stuff. I don't like that kind of stuff, You're especially right. not with my wife, <laughs> whom You're I right. whom I love very much, whom of course I live with. I, but I have we, a competitive nature. But, I but can't help you it. do have a competitive nature. There you go, my friends. One last little look before I put it away. Very competitive nature, and we work together as well. So we spend an inordinate amount of time with each other. We're constantly, we're always together. We're always we're together. So you see that lovely blue there, guys? That's the twinkle. Let's see if I can get it to do the... No, I'll have to wait for it to dry, but... Yes, Nelvia, we still have Chomp, DM us. If you'd like us to send some to you, we can. Absolutely, we do, Nelvia. Yeah. Oh, you guys are great. Thank you so much for all being here with us today. We had a lot of fun. And uh, I think we're pretty cute too, but I'm biased, really. Thank you, Hazel. I hope you all enjoyed. And I hope some of you were painting along with us today. It would be awesome 
if yes if we could do a, a pour a long gale that's a great idea uh, i know in the beginning episodes of the show we used to reveal the colors that we were using in the episode prior to the episode so you guys could get similar colors and we could all paint together and i think maybe we'll get back on that train i think we should definitely get back on that train um it did say in the um uh, in the details of this video that we'll be using our dollar store paint and the us flow troll um but what we can actually do, if you guys want to actually paint exactly along home with us with exactly the same colours, we shall release a, uh, uh, the live that's going to come from Mexico next, uh, next uh, Sunday. And we shall release the colours we're going to use there in Mexico, the size of the canvas we're going to use there in Mexico, so you can do it exactly and paint along with us at home there. Let us know if you have any questions before. We'll try and get them answered. Well, there you go. You know, it's 2 o'clock. So it's 2 we'll o'clock. Well, this is it. Um, but we do know that there's not much happening exactly after this. There's another train somewhere else, but they don't start until about 3 o'clock, I believe. So a couple of people did say, why don't you just carry on a bit later? which I think we, uh, we might could. do, we could do. do. Paint mixed up? I have a few little bits of paint mixed up and we could throw something together. But again, that wouldn't be 101 for beginners well, for the basics. Do you guys it? want to stick around and watch Cy do another painting or? Let us know in the live chat, know. just while I'm cleaning up this, yeah, uh, this excess paint We don't paint really have here. any plans. I need to vacuum and do laundry. And <laughs> I'd rather watch Cy paint than vacuum and do laundry. You guys probably all would too. <laughs> <laughs> Bless your hearts. <laughs> yeah, Nelvia says yes. Yeah, Danielle says yes. Janet says says yes. Okay, well, yeah, they'd like to watch you do another painting. Cool, okay, Donna. Yeah. Here you go. If you want to get rid of that, yeah. I shall just be then clearing up You're the... You're going to have to watch them clean for a minute. Just for a second, just wipe up the old, uh, the old spinner board here. And we'll go on for a little bit longer. And we will start to do, if anyone has got some questions, if there's still beginners that have got beginner questions, please, please ask those away. Yes, you can put those in the sink, Vanna. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, but what we shall also do is open up the Q&A to any slightly more advanced questions that people may have, and we can try and help you figure those out. So while I'm just doing that, Vanna is just kind of just... It's clean, right? Thank you, my darling. Vanna is just throwing the uh, little empty pots of paint uh, in the sink so we can wash those up and use them because we're hot on recycling and reusing stuff. We don't... Uh, don't, we, we don't like single-use plastics, and for those that might not know, Canada has just banned everywhere single-use plastics. So you can't get a straw in McDonald's or a anymore. Or plastic spoon. Or plastic spoon. No plastic plates. No plastic plates, nothing like that. Do you think they're going to discontinue solo cups? Now, this is one of the things that I was thinking about <laughs> and where I was just going to. I can't imagine that they Beer will. drinkers all over the world just gasp. Gasp. gasp <laughs> when the solo cups are. Um, but we can still buy the solo cups in the dollar store. So I feel that maybe there's a loophole. The stock might run out. And there's, a, there's a loophole for the, uh, for the solo for alcohol cups. Alcohol-related products. <laughs> yes. But um, yes, ban single-use plastics, which is a really fantastic thing because a lot of them, as you know, ends up in the ocean and not where they're supposed to be. And in that kind of environment, the plastics can have a huge, huge damaging effect. And we don't want that to happen. We want to be a little more conscientious of the other, of this planet being alive and all of the other animals that uh, call it home and that have a right to it too, so. I was reading a science article. Sorry, I don't want to be preachy, but that's oh, just how I feel. I agree. There is an island of plastic floating in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, The yeah. size of England. Yes, yeah, and there are now... Is it the size of England? It's huge. And there's um, now a new species of microorganism that feeds and digests small plastics. Now, yes, I heard about this. Some fantastic new company came out with this bacteria or uh, uh, something, well, is, is it a bacteria? The article I was reading was a naturally occurring species, which I found That's now started to, yeah, actually eat and decompose the plastic, yeah, which is fantastic, really absolutely fantastic. Okay, brilliant guys, so we are going to carry on just for a little bit more, and we're going to do, let's just have a look. Oh, I tell you what we could do. Right, so guys, you might have seen up here, 
but probably not. I did just release a video of these two. These are the new stuck up pigs, the uh, chameleon pigments the, uh, from TLP, this little piggy and fluid art co. This one is called uh, egotistical and this one is hoity toity. And as you can see, just, oh. I love hoity toity. Hoity toity, the top one is just rather fantastic. But oh look, there you go. With the, get the light on them. They are just fantastic. So this is a swipe. Let's do a um, bloom with one of them. Ooh, we what? haven't bloomed in ages. We haven't bloomed in ages. So I've got the hoity toity is here and then the egotistical is here. As you can see, I will have to just stir them up a little bit. I had an idea too. We could do um, your hot dog pours. If we did mini versions of them, we could call them cocktail wieners. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Vanna, nice. I love it. I love the way you think, darling. <laughs> cocktail wiener. Cocktail wiener pour. <laughs> <laughs> We're really stretching it there, though, aren't we? But no. hey, why not, you know? It's anyway, funny. so let me uh, just show you. Oh, yeah, I think I showed you at the beginning. But anyway, there's hoity toity. Fantastic, deep, beautiful purple. And then there's the egotistical. Bingo, bingo. So when we mix them up, they do gray out a little. Now don't worry about this. All that means is just because it's in the clear base paint. It still dries beautiful. When it dries, it dries absolutely fantastically. But there you go. That is the hoity-toity. See if I can get the color. Shift. Da, 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 da. Oh, there we go. Look at that fantastic beauty. So there we go. And the uh, consistency. Sorry, guys. Put my hand right over the camera. There's the consistency. Drizzles nicely. Just a little bit thicker than the paints we were using earlier for the ring pores and the dirty pores. So this one, let's get down a bit more. This is the Hoity Toity. Now, it's just gone a little bit uh, milky at the top because they set. So you've just got to gently mix them without trying to stir too much air into them. And here is the consistency. Jody, how much is the pillow paint we get? Which pillow paint, Jody? Um, the color to go pillow paint is, is about, about 10, 10 bucks, bucks. Or, and that's Canadian. So I think it's a little bit more affordable in the U S and then the Glidden paint from home Depot is about 25, 30 bucks. I think so this is the, uh, this is the, uh, egotistical look at that fantastic green. And then it goes yellow and gold and then get it over onto, look, there you go. <laughs> so I would love to do a bloom with these two. One on one side, one on the other. And I am going to use my favorites, uh, the Prussian blue and then the Rust-Oleum gold. Gold mine. We have another question uh, from Nelvia. Hi Nelvia, what's Hi. your question, darling? Nelvia does not have dollar store paints, but I have plenty of Liquitex, Liquitex paint. Will that make a difference? Uh, uh, no, you can, the, right, so the main difference really I would say in between the dollar store paints and then the Liquitex paints and da, 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 I have the Liquitex paints too, the, um, the soft body acrylics. The differences in them are that the pigments and the minerals that they use to make those paints are of a higher quality. So the colors will be a little more vibrant and, uh, 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 and um, they will last. Let me just look up. Sorry, I'll look at you rather than just talking with my hands. Um, with the higher quality paints, they are, have a greater degree of light fastness. That means that after time of being exposed to sunlight or just regular light in a room, they won't fade as quickly as these paints. Now, when I first started using these paints, we were like, let's find out the limitations of these paints. And to be honest, there isn't any. These little dollar store jobbies are fantastic, brilliant paints to start with. They absolutely are. Um, and the only limitation that they will have is that they will lose their vibrancy and their colors slightly faster than the other more high quality pigments and, and paints. Is the Liquitex paint, does it dry without sheen like the dollar store paints? Right now, the Liquitex paints, it all depends which ones you get. The soft body acrylics are matte, but if you get the gouaches, or gouaches, gouaches, gouache, gouaches, 
Um, they do dry semi-shiny, I do believe, but don't quote me on that. I'm sorry, I don't know the actual real details of that one. Sorry, Nelvia. Anyway, let me just get a little canvas. And Serena, it's totally okay to keep your mixed paint in a ketchup or mustard squeeze bottle. Lots of artists. I know Rainbow Bean has all of her paints pre-mixed in squeeze bottles. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. When yeah. did someone ask about that? Uh, that was, um, sorry, uh, Serena. Oh, yeah. That? I'm just going back, so I'm making... Ah, I'm, right, okay. I'm cleaning up, but I am also want to make sure your questions are getting answered. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. I know lots and lots of artists mix up all of their colours and have them in the ketchup bottles so they can just use them as and when they do. Um, I don't have the space. We work out of our kitchen, as you can see here. But um, our little brother, our adopted little brother, moved out last week. We have a little tiny studio apartment that's just literally the other side of the kitchen wall here. Uh, he moved out after living there for eight years and he's going off on an uh, Australian adventure, bless his heart. Hi there, Justin. We love you. Yeah. Skooks. Um, and that's going to become a art studio for me, which is going to be fantastic because that's going to declutter the house. Which is fantastic for me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just going to make it better with everything in one space You're and one space alone. You're going to away constantly and our kitchen will be full of paint. Exactly. Right. So, Vanna, can you pass me some um, pillow paint, please? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Should we go for something crazy? Do you or want a colour or like a neutral? I don't know. No, we're going to need... Do you want fuchsia? Do you want purple? Do you want anchors? Do you want anchors away? It doesn't matter. Anchors away. Actually, you know, it doesn't matter, actually. Give me anchors away because that's what we have the most of, I believe. Okay. Because, uh, let me just show you again. Hoity-toity and egotistical. See these little squares that are full in? They are opaque, solidly opaque. So it doesn't matter what we put underneath them. As long as there's enough of them to cover the pillow below, it will oh, cover oh, the pillow Mama below. Mama Doula just joins. Mama Doulas. Oh, not for ages. Hi. Well. Mama Doulas, hi there. Lovely to see you in the live chat. Excellent, so camera pointing down. Let's just get in a little bit closer. Bum, bum, bum. Ah, oh, there we go. Da, da, da. <laughs> Tina, I think you need to rent it out to me. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, Tina. Okay, then, So I does friends. play well with others, for the record. I like to think so, yes. Now, I don't have... No, I don't have any other paints. All I have is the chameleon pigments, and I don't have any tube paints or anything, so we're gonna put cell activator right on top of chameleon pigments. Ooh. Now, let's see how this happens, because generally, with blooms and stuff, you want a paint under your we skin. want a tube paint to kind of just, well, you know. Do you wanna quickly mix one up? Well, if I do, it will be full of bubbles. How about use that? Nope, that, I can't use that. Yeah, so we are just going to wing it now, guys, with no two paint because, you know, this was an extra little bitty at the end of the show. So let's pour some of this lovely colour to go down. Now, I'm easily going to pour, because this is a pillow, for a bloom, easy going to pour. I'm guessing that was a good five or six ounces there without even, even worrying about it at all, even thinking about it. So let's just pick this up and move it over to the corners. I'd like to happily announce that it finally stopped snowing up here. Yes! <laughs> we finally, have just fi like three or four days ago, the switch got flipped and it's finally not snowing. <laughs> not snowing anymore and the snow is melting and who knows, maybe in about a month or so, we might have some daffodils. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do a bloom here, guys. Let me just, just smoosh the, smoosh the paint out to the edges because when we use a brand new canvas like this, if we leave the puddle of pillow like that, uh, sometimes the raw wood can soak up the paint on the edge of the puddle like that, and we can be left, even when the piece is dry, with a bit of a ring. And um, we don't want that underneath our blooms. We want them to look just beautiful and perfect and amazing and all of the great adjectives. So, there is our anchors away. Now let's put, let's just give these, got some air bubbles in them because I tapped them. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just half and half, right down the middle. So I'm gonna pour a nice little bit in the middle here and then out and then like this. So 
So there you go, that's the egotistical bingo. And now let's do the hoity toity. Again, we're just going to pour a bit in the middle. Let's just move this over a bit. There we go. I'm going to pour a bit in the middle here. Nice little glob and then out to the sides and then around. There we go. Great. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Gosh, I don't know if we can get the light. Hold the light up like that, Vanna. See? Sure. Oh my God, that's so pretty. There we go. Can we see the colors a bit, guys? I hope you can. There we go. Oh, oh yes, there we go. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Should we bring it in a bit closer? Yes. The answer to that question is always, always yes. Always yes, 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 yes. So there we go, guys. <laughs> Sheldon says his daffodils have already come and gone. <laughs> Sheldon, we are like four months behind the rest of the world up here. Yeah. A mile above sea level. Yeah, literally. Mm. Okay, guys, so I'm going to put some of the um, uh, Prussian blue down first. I need to... Can I have a couple of stirring sticks? Oh. Stirring sticks, please, Vanna. Yeah. Sorry about the crash. Yeah. So we've got to stir up our cell activator, guys. Always stir it up. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Yeah, that was our light ring that just took a beating. So here we go. We're going to put just a little bit in the middle. Bingo. And we're going to put just a little bit of the gold in. Bingo. And now you're going to see me blow this out live on air. Hopefully I don't get it wrong. Let's go at the edge here so you can see. Now my blooms and my blows are always a bit weird and a bit different. But there we go, nice and close. Da, da, da. Get in the middle. Just tap on the screen so we can make sure it's nicely in there. Bingo. And now because I used the um, Rust-Oleum Gold Mine, it does take a little while to sink. Uh, and you see I, I put it on top of some of the Prussian Blue cell activator as well, just to give it a little more guts to hold up. So hopefully we get some of these lovely, lovely blue, beautiful cells are gonna hold up here. So while we are waiting for that cell activator in the middle to sink, we are going to do what? We are going to wet our edges because this is a brand new cradle and the uh, edges of it are very, very wet. Uh, sorry. The edges of it are dry and raw wood. So when we spin this, we want the paint to flow over nicely to the edge and down the edge and not fly off so much. And hopefully, if we get a really good spin, we can retain some beautiful cell structure oh, that's pretty. over the edges. So ah, there we go. You see, while I'm just wetting these edges and waffling away, the, cell, the cell activators sink in. Vanna's putting in her two bits. And it looks really pretty. No, it's ugly. Scrape it. It's ugly. It's scrape it. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> Okie dokie. So let me just pick it up and give you a little show. Oh, bingo. Oh, she's moving. So let's just move it up this way. See if I can get the camera. <laughs> there is a pair of eyeballs in the middle. You're right. Yes, <laughs> he's hit the eyeballs. Look, Rainbow. bingo, there's the eyeballs. That painting's looking at you. <laughs> it is looking at us. Okay then guys, so a nice gentle spin, okay? There we go. Nothing too fast, just to encourage the paint, like I said, to make it out to the edge of the picture, edge of the cradle, and then flow down nicely down the edge. And you might be able to see my fingers just here on the edge of the board, catching the drips. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, a little bit different. <laughs> Again, the cell activator sank very quickly because it's literally just straight onto, um, straight onto pigments with no, with no tube paints. Oh, that's so pretty. But it still came out quite prettily. Let's just check for movement, let's see. Wow, yes. It's not really moving that much, but Let's just give it. I like the, um, the 
One the more. essence of the chameleon pigment still are showing the sh cell structure despite the cell activator sinking through. Exactly, yeah. You're kind of getting these beautiful ghost like cells. Ghosts, yeah. Okay, guys, you can see again, not spinning it super fast. If we spin things super fast, we run the risk of warping the cells and warping the design and losing the composition. So we spin at just a nice pace, as you could see there. Oh, oh yeah, bingo. That's looking quite pretty. Let's just check for movement. Hardly any at all, so let's just hold it up and you can see. Look at that, the egotistical at the bottom there. Just amazing. And then there's the hoity-toity at the top. Let me just move this round a little bit. Here we go, so you've got, yeah, the egotistical. It's just ever so pretty. And you get the best effects when you actually move the camera away from them. So kind of the closer the light source, you see it goes this lovely gold color. And as we bring it away, it changes to the red, to the orange, and the hoity-toity is going to this beautiful purple. See if I can get it this way. There we go. Just check them out. They're just amazing, amazing pigments. Absolutely fantastic. And um, while I'm away, we love our TLPs. if we have the chance, I'm going to do the creation video for this one. So these are the two same pigments dried on the nice little diptych that I did. So yes, the creation video for these will be, uh, if I get a chance to do it either this Wednesday or next Wednesday, I might sit by the pool and do some video editing. But and we have a question. A uh, question, please. Let's get um, the question. Vicky Kitts. Hi, Vicky. What do you like using more to pour on, wood or canvas? Right, that's a really good and question. And why as well. And why, of course, yes, exactly. Let me, oops, sorry, let me just move this up and so we can talk to you. Hi there, Vicky. Right, what do I prefer to work on, wood or canvas? It all depends on the size of the piece that I'm working on. Anything up to about, um, yeah, I've, I've poured on um, two by three foot canvases and absolutely, you know, no problem, had no problem at all. Let me just show you. There you go, there's an example. This was uh, from a couple of weeks ago. So this is on uh, two by three, and uh, this is a canvas, as you can see. Um, it's great, it's fine, but uh, when we're working on the slightly larger pieces, I prefer to work on a cradle, which is wood, like this. Uh, because the wood has uh, just obviously is stronger than the canvas, doesn't sag. doesn't sag with the weight of all of the paint that we put on it and just holds up a little bit better. So when I do really big pieces, I usually always use the wooden cradles, but small pieces uh, up to, like I said, maybe about 11 by 14, something like that. Canvases are absolutely fine. That's awesome. Oh yes, would you like to look? I didn't even show you. There you go. It's a pretty one. There's I've never seen that one. Yeah, haven't you, Vanna? Yeah, this was one I did a long time ago. And this is a Comet, the interference pigment from TLPs. Here it turns this beautiful gold here. I love that. And then it goes, yeah, see the gold. Yeah. And then we get the beautiful violet colour there. But yeah, this was a piece I did a while ago. And it's in the pile to be, um, to be resined, because I think it would be very, very pretty mm. resin. Agree. But there we go. Someone's going to scoop that one up at the festival for sure. Yeah, let's hope so. And yes, just to let you guys know, if you've ever seen a picture that we've made in one of the lives or one of our videos that you really like, we can work you out a very good deal for it because... Everything's for sale. Except everything's... For the, except for the ones we specifically say are not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Disclosure. Just, uh, not, not this one. one. I'm sorry. Not this one. Not yet. But yeah, and there you go. Never the one at the top of the stairs. Never the one at the top of the stairs either. But there we go, guys. We're going to learn how to make this and how to make this cell activator in two weeks' time when we're back from Mexico. Okie dokie, my lovely friends. So, oh yes, just wanted to show you this last one. This video, question video for this one is coming very soon as well. 
you uh, again, if I have time while I'm in Mexico, if I'm not too margarita up sitting by the pool, I'll do some editing and we'll release a couple of videos for you guys. And then we will see you next Sunday live from Papa Casa del Papa. Should I push him in the pool again? You want you want to see me go in the pool again, <laughs> don't you? You are mean, you guys. <laughs> yeah, man, I push him, push him. <laughs> anyway, so Vanna, I think that's about it, my darling. We've gone for an hour and twenty-five minutes. Wow. That's pretty good. So 24 people in the chat. And there's chat. still 25. Oh, mine says 25. But anyway, <laughs> so there we go. So would you like us to carry on? We've got nothing to carry on with. And now we're just going to be waffling. And, you know, I can see how that might start to put some people off that were watching seriously to learn here. But um, push, him. <laughs> push him, they push say. Him. Push him. Push. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Oh. Oh, that made me laugh. I yeah. really enjoyed pushing you in the pool. Uh, didn't you? Yeah, that was a, that was, that was a year. For a, that was for a promo video. For the promo video, yeah, for uh, when we were still in that other group that we're now no longer part of that shan't be named because <laughs> if you can't say anything nice, you don't say anything at all is what I learned from my lovely Canadian friends. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so let's just give you guys whoop whoop. Here we go, one more little shot of the egotistical and then the hoity-toity. It's just pretty amazing. Look at that green it goes and then the gold and the yellow, orange. Pretty amazing indeed. So, Vanna, would you like to present just for a second so I can go and oh, put hey. this away? <laughs> oh, hi, oh, hey. Yeah, I was just, I'm just reading chat messages. We love you all very much. I'm looking forward to filming our next show in Mexico. I can't wait to see Dad. Wish him happy birthday and give him a hug. It's long overdue. And we're gonna have a great time. We're gonna drink a lot of margaritas and eat a lot of tacos. We're gonna go on a pub crawl, which was very unsuccessful last time we went. We're not good at that. And we had to go home and go to bed at 5.30. <laughs> so, but we did wake up at nine, hungry, and without a hangover, by some miracle, I don't know. <laughs> It was a miracle, it, yeah, really, it really was. was. It really very much so was. We'll get anyway. better every time we go. <laughs> Absolutely get better at it every time we go. So my friends, our friends. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. We thank you for you. your generosity sending all of those stickers. You thank all. you for watching. And it's just clicked up to 30 people watching you now. You all are the highlight of my weekend. You really are. Thank you so much, yeah. guys. You mean the world to us. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit the like button, the thumbs up button. Tell your friends. Tell your friends, please. That's the other thing. Tell your friends about Tell the show so we can build our viewer base. That would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. But above all, our lovely friends. Happy pouring. Mwah. Ciao. See you next week in Mexico. Bye. Bye.